hello, hello, everyone out there in internet land. It is me, and, and we are coming back with more boyfriend dungeons. <laughs> I am so excited because I was actually having a lot of fun. And it's been really hard not to play this game off stream, but I want to share the experience with you all. So. Um, with that, I think we're just going to get right into it. Um, just a reminder, next Saturday is our Community Gaming Day. So we, um, that's going to be when I'm going to be focused on crowd play games like Crash on Derby, Marble, Jackbox, Uno, you name it, we'll probably play it. Um, so that's a, one of my bonus days next week. And then also, there's still the giveaway going on, so there's that exclamation mark giveaway. We'll show you the details, exclamation mark points. We'll show how many you've gathered, that sort of thing. So, without further ado, let me just get back into the game. I love this song. Let's continue. If I remember correctly, I think, for one, fuck Eric. Eric can go fuck himself. <laughs> um, if anybody's here expecting me to romance Eric, you're you're gonna be highly disappointed because Eric shit shitted on uh, our cousin Jesse, and I don't get down like that. Jesse did not deserve that. <laughs> Um, so I think we need to go back into the dungeon. I think that's the only thing, that's the only real path we have right now is to go into the dungeon. Because we definitely ain't going to go see Mr. Ass Nine. So let's go back onto the map. Apparently there is something in here. I think that exclamation mark means, um, like, fuck you. <laughs> um, <laughs> means there's like an event. <laughs> I ran past assholes, uh, I ran past the asshole shop. So that's why I was like, fuck you. <laughs> um, Clark, welcome. Oh, that's cute. That's cute as hell. I ain't got no money though. How the hell do I earn money in this this game? Do I have to pit myself out? I really want this. I really want the cardigan combo. Like the black with the red. That's cute as fuck. Okay. Well, I thought the exclamation mark met an event, so I guess that's just my first time going there. Just running around town. There's the hospital I guess I go to when I get my ass kicked. Um, I can't go to La Rosa right now. I can't go to Brook. I guess we're going into the dungeon. So I'm definitely not going to see Eric. So... Do I take Isaac or do I take Thunder? Oh, we're going with Thunder. I gotta go with Homeboy. I gotta go with Homeboy. Mm. What do monsters shop for? I don't know, darling. I really don't. Definitely mean I would like a controller for this. That's because they don't work with my computer.
you. Holy crap. Oh, I'm getting stuck. Oh! That's for heal, that's for heal! Okay, I pick up money in the dungeon. Alright. Makes sense. I am the only one healing though. I kinda kinda suck at beat em up. <clears throat> oh, we go through here. Come on, baby. Let's keep going, Thunder. Down, down, down. I think this is the another the final person maybe from the title screen right here. The hilt is wrapped in several layers of leather and the double edged blade is chipped. What the hell? Oh could you not just like grab me without warning? I know tradition is all choose your weapon, but consent is important. No, oh, it's okay. I'm sorry too. I didn't mean to snap, I just... I'm not sure what's going on. I was out at night, as you do, and then... BAM! I'm here, my blade hurts, monsters everywhere. I'm Valeria. Nice to meet you. Sort of. I guess so. And damaged, too. Normally, I'd switch to human form around now, to be polite. But I don't know you. I'm still recovering from whatever just happened. I'd rather play it safe. And I'm certainly not going to put myself in a stranger's hands and let you use me. I can take care of myself. Mostly. I could use some extra cash, though, so... I'll keep in touch. Ciao, for now. Well, just want me for my money, I see. Hmm. Don't got much of it. I'm, I'm grinding for it. Oh, there's two ways we can go, right? There's down here. Looks like that's the final boss? Maybe? Let's go up here first then. Go. 
Ow. I did. I did it, boo thing. Okay. Break open the boxes. Okay, this descends down into the end of the level. So, let's go back. Bike helmet glasses too. Nice. And then this comes around to here. Nothing like a massage to loosen up all those tight muscles. You both sit in the massage chair and begin to vibrate and lead your back. Oh my. Mmm. You relax into the massage. Too soon it's over, and it looks like Thunder has fallen asleep. Oh. What? Huh? Ooh. Uh... I wasn't sleeping, I was just... thinking. <laughs> Thunder stretches like a cat and finally stands up. <laughs> Alright, ready to go. For me? Ooh, I feel so special. Okay. This obviously starts a challenge, so. Boom! just give me extra level up and stuff? I guess so. Alright, let's go down to the next floor. Um, let's change weapons, just so we're not wasting, I guess, energy maybe? this is a checkpoint so that's the elevator so I can skip down to this level if I decide to go back I'm not doing no counter attacking in here. Alright. Let's go! Wow. The vending machine offers several choices. Bubble tea, sugar, question mark for five dollars. You climb down into the darkness. Adventure! Where the fuck am I? Find the monster shop. Achievement! 
Oh, oh, oh. Viva Savana? It seems you're worthy to shop at the heart of Verona. Hmm? A digital camera? When, you, when you're so blue, even your kisses make someone else blue? A bomber jacket? Okay, the bomber jackets are sweet. But I ain't... I don't have no money! Ah! I wish I'd known... Damn it! I really want the bomber jacket! That purple one is hot as shit. Oh. <laughs> I will. I'll stay safe out there. I'm really upset. Let's talk to people. I gotta save up money for the from the dunge, and stop getting defeated by the likes of you. Well. <laughs> oh, I'm back. They allow humans down here? I thought this place was exclusive. Well, now I know about the secret shop, so... Oh, that skips the entire level! Okay. Things to know. Oh, good with them. There we So vending machines sometimes can get you in to the monster shop. Huh. No fears to be found here, it seems. Oh, it's a date spot. Okay. Mm -mm. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I don't know anything about these types of games. Oh, I, I wasn't allowed near them as a child, and these days I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I'll watch you, though. They look quite exciting. What do you want to play? Chronosite pinball? Uh. So many blinking lights. You play a few rounds of pinball. You get extra points for collecting leather spell, spell, ugh, spelling betrayal. <laughs> Eventually, you run out of tokens. <laughs> Video games are surely a waste of time, but I'm glad you had fun. Look! I Isaac, man, they're not a waste of time. Well, they're a good waste of time, but still. Games are awesome. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. Back to it, shall we? Found chemistry design recipe. Nice. Okay, I got multiple place ways to go. Let's go this way. We got some scenery out here. This heads this way.
There we go. There's the stairs, so let's go back. I love how I'm doing all this pickaxeness while in a dress. We got plastic. More money. More money. This is a challenge. Found another. Oh, found a red rose recipe. Nice. Okay. So let's head into the challenge. complete that means we can leave this level and I think at the next elevator I will dip out I think that will be enough grinding for today let's keep with him because we gotta level him up ah but we're at an elevator so Two levels. Oh wow! I think three levels. Holy crap! That was very, very productive. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh, everybody wants me. Everybody wants me. <laughs> Everybody done? Nope, still going. Some cherries. I don't know Thunder well, but I heard he doesn't have the best track record, so just be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. I'll be careful, cuz. I'll be careful. Well, thinking of going to the park. Are you free? Sure. See you at the pond. I feel like a pimp. I'm just spreading my love to everybody. It's a date. I'm all yours. Ooh, baby, I'm coming for you. Alright, I've answered all my 
You are a dick. You can fuck off. Who has a night knife? Oh. Mom. Jesse said you're fighting your inner demons in the dungeon. So it's kind of like therapy, but with swords. Yeah. Question mark. Well, that's good. Sounds healthier than I thought. At least if you don't take any permanent damage. Therapy is important. Especially when you're feeling on edge. I never told you this, but I went to therapy for 12 years. It helped me grow and level up as a person. I'll try to do the same. Love you, Mama. Alright. So, we gotta go take care of our demon boo thing. Our bad boy. Of course he's the bad boy. Of course I want the bad boy. <sighs> Let's go. Actually, no. Nope, I gotta go back into my apartment. Shit. Because I want to craft more bracelets? They only let me craft one of each? Well, fine then. Yeah, apparently they only let me craft one of each. Bummer. Carry more, more beverages, but fewer designs. How about I wear that when I'm just going to go into a dungeon? <laughs> oh, do I like the blue over the blue? I like the blue. Blue is my favorite color. Of course I like the blue. Okay. Okay. Now we can go out. <laughs> So, what's in here? Apparently I can shop in there. You approach the historic El Grondo Theater and its remarkable unhis unhistoric ticket machine. <coughs> oh, those are tickets to the actual things. Okay. Yeah. As you leave, you notice the Los Angeles Ballet Company is visiting later that summer, this summer. Okay. Okay, let's go visit well, Val. I'm literally gonna call her Val, which is gonna confuse my Got Val. It. <laughs> Got it! I don't like let's, it. Let's go meet her. Uh, you arrive at the park, but you don't see anyone at first. Then you notice a metallic gleam on the bench nearby. Hello! Okay, that's a cool transformation. Ah, that's better. Hmm. He stops and gives you a piercing look up and down. Huh? Hey, wow, I really didn't get a proper look at you in, in the dungeon. You're cute. Thanks. <laughs> and polite, too. Too little of that around these days. <laughs> thanks. By the way, thanks for meeting me in public. <laughs> I know you're the one who rescued me, but I still don't know how I got down there. Or how my blade got chipped. In the ironic twist, someone's clearly backstabbing, so I'm a little jumpy. Besides, safety first, just in case you're an axe murderer. Hmm. So, I suppose you're more likely to just turn out to be an axe. <laughs> Not that it'd be a problem if you were. That'd be hypocritical, given my own. <laughs> she leans closer, closer and lowers her voice dramatically. Situation. Oh my. So 
so what is it? You know your deal. You can tell me. I won't judge you. <laughs> I just prefer to know up front before anything happens. Got too many choices now. I'm not sure what my deal is. I don't have a deal. So something's going to happen? Well, I haven't heard that one before at least. Hmm. Maybe it'll be fun to find out what it is. Together. Winky face. Oh my. A man approaches, eyeing me suspiciously. Can we help you? Everything alright, then? Yeah. Yeah, everything's peaceful. Thanks. See you later. The man stares you down a moment longer before moving on. Don't make me flinch you. I will flinch you so hard. Um. Sorry, that's fine. Friend, checking in to see if I haven't been axe murdered. <laughs> yes, anyway. Look, don't take this the wrong <sighs> way, but your story is too convenient. You're from out of town, a newbie, never dated before. Yet you're also charming, apparently great at combat. Something doesn't add up. Nobody's called me charming. Thank you. I'm not lying. Huh. That's sweet, but I have trouble believing it. The truth is we barely know each other. She stands. You know you have to say something or you'll never see your thing. You get to know me then. You feel a little breathless at your own daring, but Flurry's eyes warm a little. I suppose that is why I came to Verona Beach. New start, new friends. Escape. Enemies nearby get confused when you roll out of sight. So she's pretty much truly the road with the dagger. Oh, and that's a beautiful dagger at that. And if you turn out to be an evil mastermind, well, keep your enemies close, right? Uh. Right. <laughs> Say love you. <laughs> she decided not to give a gift right. Ciao. With one last wary look, she stalks away through the park. You head home. On your way, on your way home, you find a rose on your doorstep. The note, the note reads, thinking of you, Eric. Oh, sorry. Damn it, I was hoping it was Thunder or Isaac. No, it's the asshole. You carry it inside. I don't want to. Can I stomp it into the ground, please? <sighs> I guess I have to deal with him one way or another, isn't it? <sighs> Damn it. I don't want to. Come on guys, I got I got other dates to see. Everyone done? Everyone cool? Okay. Okay, Jesse is good. Next next time I real date, one where I don't accuse you of being a murderer or an act, though I knew a nice one once. Anyway, I think my blade is mostly healed. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> I'll let you know when I can think of a date we can go on. Let's go to the dungeon in the meantime. Alright. I got you, boo. I got you. Ah. <sighs> I was so worried when you went off to VB on your own, but you're doing great, facing fear, finding friends. I'm amazed. It makes me proud. A little baby bird flying on her own. I'm a tweeter. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> you don't miss me? It's hard without you. Uh, it's hard without you, Mom. I know, sweetheart. You're doing something really hard and brave. But if this is important and independence is a part of growing up, I'll be here when you need me. You'll always be my daughter. Aww. Thanks, Mom. This is 
is making me really sad. I kind of, this my relationship with my mom was like this in real life. I was a super supportive mama. Oh, I guess I gotta deal with this asshole. <laughs> Funny, playing it cool, huh? A woman like you deserves appreciation. My business is doing well, so I'm generous. Come by the shop sometime, if you don't hate me. I kind of hate you, dude. You shitted on my friend. You shitted on my cousin. <sighs> Maybe I need to go to the shop and tell him off there. <sighs> but first... Before that unsavoriness. <laughs> or maybe I should tell him off first and then leave Thunder as my my uh Yeah. Let's let's get the bad shit out the way. Let me go um uh, Hold on, gotta do some banding. There we go. I'm about to ruin this dude's whole entire day. The shop smells of dust and oil. You spot Eric behind the register, reading a book. Oh, you came. Oh, Ebby, Hi. you came. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Slow day? No, no, uh, there were lots of customers here before. Really? <laughs> Let me give you a tour. For on the beach, knuckleheads mostly want switchblades and razors, but... We carry the finest blades. Some are even made on site in my private smithery. I also teach classes at Verona Beach College about the history of war. Hmm. Tell me, what's your favorite weapon? <laughs> Ooh, hee hee, uh -huh. mm. hmm. Interesting. Most people know of the scimitar, but you're into rarities, huh? Wait, you mean a weapon person? Right, of course. You can frown up your face all you want. Fuck you. <laughs> it's naturally fascinating wielding someone else in battle, trusting them with your life. Sometimes I wonder who Excalibur would transform into if it were a person. But then I remember Sun Tzu and Napoleon and Genghis Khan. <laughs> People win wars, Ebby, not weapons. Weapons are just tools. Wielders make the decisions, the strategies, the tactics. It's not polite to say impure humans aren't superior, but the truth is we're better suited to leadership. Pure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm forging a new and improved kind of weapon. Way smarter than the idiot Talwar you like so much. Hmm. I don't know what to call the Supreme Sword yet. Why? I aspire to be a great, as great a swordsmith as Gero, Goro Masamu someday? I know that's the dude who perfected the katana. I do believe if I'm remembering history off the top of my head. So I know I butchered that. Sorry! <laughs> If this blade is my opus, maybe it will deserve the name Masamun. I bet it will make me rich too. Even though the idea itself is simple. Hmm. I just want to make a weapon with a little bit of intelligence. It doesn't need its own thoughts or feelings and baggage. 
Think of it, the ultimate weapon, with all the typical insights and none of the drama. Oh, I'm totally calling you out. No. Control freak much? You won't be so dismissive when you see what I've made. Some people and some weapons are just better than others. A perfect servant will always be more loyal than an equal. God, I hate this dude. I hate everything about this dude. The sooner you realize you can only rely on yourself, the, we the better warrior, warrior you'll be. Hmm. Um, I'm not gonna buy anything. How about, no. How about you fuck off? <laughs> To each their own. I mean, there isn't anything wrong with weapon people. They're just not for me. I can't really expect a person to sit in a case looking pretty all day. Can you? You could pay them. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Ah. <sighs> such an asshole. I feel like nothing, anyone out there who decides to date Eric, I really don't like you. I'm sorry. Ah. Uh, can I not go to chat with, oh, uh, I need to level up Isaac because I want, I want to speak with him again. Okay. Let's go on a date with Thunder. You spend time at La Rosa with, with Thunder. After a bit of dancing, you both retire to the VIP section. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's get to know each other better. Ask me anything beautiful. I could fix myself, but fix myself with what do you do? I own this place with Mandy. Well, she owns most of it. I make do with the scraps. <laughs> Life is for living, right? So why work? I'd rather have a good time. Let's go swinger. Finishers have a larger attacking area. So I spend most nights dancing. I'm glad you're here. I only have eyes for you, you know. Thunder meets your gaze with an intensity that makes you blush. Oh boy. And again, the music's just too perfect. Too great. His phone, his focus is broken by his phone chirping, which he looks at briefly and puts away. Uh... I'll be right back, beautiful. Don't go anywhere, alright? Uh-oh. He smiles and leaves towards the bathroom. He waits. It's probably only been a few minutes, but it, feel like, it feels like he's gone for a long time. You feel an inch, a hunch, a suspicion. Maybe made, maybe made of nothing but jealousy. Check the bathroom? You wonder if you should go after him. Your gut feels tight and hot with tension. You tell yourself not to... You tell yourself not to be paranoid. Let's go. Oh my. You step outside and find Thunder leaning into a woman whose eyes are glazed. Is that her? Cause someone like someone like that's watching us. Thunder leaps away from her, wiping his mouth. <laughs> hey. What? Huh? Oh, uh, hey Abby. So, this is weird. I'm gonna go. Uh no need to sneak up on the guy. I was coming back in soon. Who was that? What were you doing? 
what did you say about me? Are you dating someone? Given that his eyes turned red and he looked a little like a vampire, what were you doing? Hmm. I want to make you feel special because you are. I like you a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Hmm. But also, sometimes I want to kiss other people and... I'm sorry if that hurt. Wait, are we actually experiencing some actual poly ship branching off here? Where they'll actually give me a choice to be like, I'm okay with it, but just don't lie to me. Well... I decide to commit to him and he commits to me then it would be a poly ship and then again that's like us we're allowed to branch out but I'm just surprised the option is here because any other dating sim it would be like no fuck you you just cheated on me run off <laughs> you wouldn't have the option I'll do right by you, Abby. Trust me. No, I don't want to offer a gift. <sighs> I found you another day. I don't know if I need more people right now. <laughs> My vampire-ish double boyfriend, well, potential lover, decided to to ditch me in the VIP section and go outside in the dark alley and rub up on the plus size woman. Which, thank you for putting plus size women in the game. Though I don't know how I feel about the plus size woman being the side chick. Just saying. That's an odd choice. I found you- I found you another date. You've probably met her already. Who is it? Go to Paradise Loft tomorrow at noon. She'll meet you there. She'll wear a blue jacket. Great. <laughs> and don't forget to smile. Um, but fake smiles are bad. Never mind. Smiling optional. <sighs> You're the best cousin ever. Ah. <sighs> hey, thanks for coming last night. You're my favorite dance partner. X my heart. Or cross my heart. Ah, you're my fave too. Ah, this is already so complicated. I'm hating on one guy. Ah, I need to go down into the dungeon again. Because I gotta level up my gentleman. <sighs> oh, I can go on the date now. Do I wanna go on the date now or do I wanna I'm going down into the dungeon? I I need a break from all the dating right now. Cause Things be a little complicated right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go with my homeboy. So let's go to five. If we can make it down a few floors, we can catch an elevator back up. Right, gotta look for a key. All right, key coming in. There. Oh, I forgot to put the helmet on.
construction zone. This is key. That was some tent. Oh, was this literally just a boss battle? Okay. The robo hurt. <laughs> up a sweat I see. Perhaps the ice cream will cool you down. It's been so long since I've indulged. Mm -hmm. I think I'll appreciate apricot gelato. What flavor would you like? Uh. Oh, we have similar tastes? Yeah, I don't do plain vanilla. Or perhaps you're just flattered. No, no, I would go with the apricot if all I got is chocolate and vanilla. Ah, this reminds me of Rome. The son of the pizza, the taste of apricot. Oh, pizza? Is that supposed to be pizza? I don't know. The taste of apricot. <laughs> have you ever been to Italy? They have fantastic sensors in Rome. Top notch. Perhaps we can go to a match together someday. For now, however, practice must assume. <laughs> Okay, so it looks like I got two ways to go, so let's go... Ooh, that looks like a big fella. Okay. Oh, that is a big fella. Plastic. This is a dead end, so we clear this out. Let's go up. Okay, those are the stairs. Oh, let's check if we one more area. Got cornered. Ah, oh, shit.
I'll be in the sanctuary of San Drongo. All right. I'll see you there. You know, after I regain my pride. <laughs> Go to Isaac. The church sanctuary makes a surprisingly good combat training space. Hmm. Mm, you're improving, but your parry is actually a bit too consistent. <laughs> you could try going a bit slower or faster, or try a new parry direction. Surprise is decisive life. In Simpson, and Simpson, go on, take a stab at it. I'm totally throwing the weapon. <laughs> I know. That's dangerous. Let's retain the quorum in our surprises, shall we? Your practice parries and lunches for a while. <laughs> nice work. You even have me sweating. I'm just getting started, honey. You launch into a new duel and he doesn't spare you an inch. She deflects at each thrust, easily knocking them aside and scoring on you. <laughs> wow, you're amazing. Isaac pauses to take a breath. Ah, I appreciate it. Thank you. I suppose regular practice has its advantages. Besides just exercising or leaving aggression towards my father. <laughs> I didn't mean to show off. I get impatient sometimes, I suppose. And you handled me rather well, I must say. Thoughtful. Repose timing is more forgiving. Ah, uh, let's do thoughtful. Mm -hmm. We could continue or take a break. How are you feeling? Why are we in a church? Your sense of gear suits you. He takes off his fencing jacket, looking around. <laughs> My mother raised me in this church. It's a comforting place. She wasn't as kind as your mother, it sounds like, but she did some things right. She came from the community mostly, but I took it, I took to it more deeply. There are so many mysteries in life, Abby. Some people suffer, others become sword. Hmm. A purpose is helpful. Do you believe in God of some kind? Questioning and open-mindedness are important. Even so, I hope you decide one day. Belief can be really strengthening, one way or the other. At least we agree that love is power, not just lust, real, generous, patient love. Hmm. I like to think that love can connect everyone, no matter what deity you believe in or don't. There are so many suffering people. I want to help them all. I know you like talking business, and I see it more of a powerful tool. I started Brooks Associates to tackle wealth inequality, but most wealthy people aren't interested. He releases a long exhalation, shaking his head. Anyway, I wanted to thank you for handling my father so gracefully before. Mm. Vincent can be a difficult man, lots of stable, saber rattling. We all have our bad days. Right. <laughs> Indeed we do. So I'm not sure his stresses excuse his clawfulness. <laughs> he wants he wants what he thinks is best for me. Still, perhaps I should try to say something. But no matter how sharp I get, I can never get a word in edgewise. How do you work up the courage to go into a dungeon even when you're afraid? Oh. I plunge in. Jeez. I tried that with Vincent once as a teenager. It did not end well. I think I still have the scar on my hope from that shuffle. It was an accident, but still. We all have our own strategies for survival. Even in human form, I find it easier to parry than to go on the offensive. 
crowd starts filtering in, perhaps the service will start soon. Oh? Oh, out of time already. How it flies. Next time, I'll make sure we don't get interrupted. Yeah, you get my room. I never knew you were such a romantic. Why, thank you. <laughs> Good day, Abby. Be well. Oh, my Isaac. He's so sweet. Why couldn't Sunder be this sweet? Then he's the playboy. <sighs> you head home. Was that the only one? That's the only text. Oh, nope. Isaac's just a little slower. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for coming to practice. I'm so pleased with your progress. What's the right emoji to use? <laughs> Praying sign, eggplant, <laughs> party, <laughs> party poppers. Let us go to the dungeon. All right, Isaac. Honestly, I'm starting to lean towards Isaac since Sunder wants to be a playboy, but I'll have to see how Sunder's going to play this off. But can I craft another rose now? Nope. I can only craft one. Um... Can't do the fashion thing yet. Okay. So let's go on the state down here. Who are we about to Welcome meet? Welcome to Paradise Lost. I'm Olivia. What kind of cats do you like? Oh, I love all cats. That's all of them. not a real answer, you know. But it's true that every cat deserves love. You can like all cats. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you're leading me, right? <laughs> oh, sorry, huh? I thought Jesse would tell you. He set us up. <laughs> oh, I forgot to take off my work apron. Sorry, one second. <laughs> Aww, she's cute. She's adorable. Olivia takes off the apron with a smile. I mean, I guess this is kind of a date, but it doesn't have to be. We can just hang out and pet cats. I don't really like this to me. Mm. Who wants to play some game of trying to guess the right thing to say? And then you flirt and you're supposed to start kissing. It's also fake. I try to be sincere. Do you? Or are you just playing a dating game? I'll never know. I love that fourth wall break. <laughs> Cause I am playing a dating game right now. I just want to see you playing <laughs> Olivia frowns slightly, eyes focusing in the distance. Wait, don't look behind you, but I think there's someone's watching us in the window? You peek from the corner of your eye, but you don't see anyone. Hmm, they're gone. Maybe I was imagining things. <laughs> An elegant cat walks up and sits nearby. They are an extra curious one. Huh? I don't recognize this one. Who are you, kitty? Are you new here? She's so cute. May I pet you, crap? Olivia reaches her hand tentatively, but the cat stalks away again, tail in the air. I guess I offended her. She spent some time with Olivia, chatting and petting cats. This is nice. See you around. Can I walk you home? Uh-huh. Ouch. Rejected. I was just trying to be polite. 
I'm sorry, but I don't think so. Thanks for nothing. It was nice to chat, but you're a little too intense for me, to be honest. I'm not normally a superstitious person, but you have a weird vibe. It's hot and bright, almost like I'm being watched. Maybe this is an aura? Hmm. I don't know, sorry, I, I can't put it into words. Um, so if any of my friends become single, I'll let you know. She backs out of the cafe with a blush. The cat gives you a pitying look. <sighs> this is your fault. Here, kitty kitty. The cat stares at you until you feel uncomfortable. You hit home. That cat really does not like me. Wait a minute. Was that fucking Eric? Wait, Eric can't turn into weapons, but he could turn into a fucking cat? What? I t I know not. Eric's really intense. Like, holy shit. <laughs> I'm just, I'm gonna come back to you. Just in a second. I'm, this definitely deserves the poop emoji. <laughs> oh, okay, don't worry about it. We're zero for two then, but this is normal. This is progress. Just think, a few weeks ago you never dated anyone. Now you have experience and skills. If you want to change up your weapon combos, check out the gym in town. And the most romantic holiday ever is around the corner. Valentine? No, silly. Fourth of July. Nothing more romantic than barbecue and fireworks. You know? No! Okay, for me being a foodie, barbecue is like totally one of the quickest ways to my heart. So, of course. <laughs> you think I'm joking, but wait and see. I met my partner Samantha at the barbecue. It's gold. You'll be all like, lovey face. <laughs> I'll send you details soon. <laughs> Thanks, cousin. Okay. Do I need to go back to area? <sighs> so awkward. I'm assuming Eric might be the guy where they put the warning up about stalking and stuff because I'm pretty sure Eric stalked me to my date at the cafe and was the cat hehe <laughs> sorry if I'm awkward or say too much you're just so pretty uh-huh um, I want to go back to the black dress. I think it's time for us to go back into, well, there's the gym. What's, this, what's new in the shop? Oh, these are new tickets. And I still don't have nearly enough to buy tickets for anywhere. So... The machine displays a picture of a hand waving. That's adorable. Okay. Let's go to the gym. Oh, I can go with someone.
Okay, so this is where I get to change things that I wanted to. Okay, this is where I would change my level stuff. Okay, which makes more sense. That's going out of town. All right. Looks like we just need to go back down into the dungeon. Let's work on Miss. Um, Miss Val. I'm gonna go to the first floor though, because I want to grind her up, and I don't want the fear of change. Okay, we finally figured this it's feels better. dangerous. I like it. Oh. Is the map still the same? Or did the map change? on these levels. Not so much money though. Lots of supplies though. Okay, this is the stairs going down. More money. More money is always a good thing. Oh neat, our caves are so romantic in a way. Hmm. The machines become outdated almost as soon as they're made, you know? They're ethereal, always replaced by something newer and better. Though there's some charm in the older games as a window into the past. You squint, pixel art has a lot in common with point, point is, is a bleh, and mosaics. Can't say the word, sorry guys. <laughs> Do you ever play older games? Huh? A lot. <laughs> wow, really? An at Quintarian of sorts then? Maybe you should visit a game museum sometime. For now, we gotta get back into the fight and show those monsters who balls. Valeria sighs dramatically. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. Yeah, since you only let me craft one of these. Go back this way. We go this way. And... I could use 
the drink too, girl. I can use the drink too. This leads us to the vending machine. Uh, I think I have enough for the bomber jacket. But let's... Yeah, let's relax. Time for a little self-indulgence, right? <laughs> You sit in the massage chairs, they begin to vibrate and knead your back. Ugh. Ugh. Too soon it's over. You feel more relaxed. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. Valeria scratches with a happy groan. Huh? Do you think the monsters use massage chairs to relax when they're not fighting? <laughs> Definitely. She laughs to herself. Yeah. All those weird vertebrae need special massage ex expertise, I'm sure. Until we chop them up. Let's go! Okay, we go this way. Yeah. Oh! I was expecting... That opens that up. There's stairs there. But we're going back because I think I have enough to buy the bomber jacket. Because I can go into the vending machine, right? Give me that purple bomber jacket. Thank you. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and now we go down to the next level. She's max now, so... Uh, I guess let's work on Thunder. Spot. 
Thunder eyes the statue up and down, it unfolds his arm. <sighs> there have been millions of people in history that fought and loved and died. And this sculpture chose to just make something sweet? Whatever, I guess. Everyone gets the kick somehow. What about yours? Me? You can probably guess. Hmm. I like dancing, and necks, and wrists, and inner thighs, and you, obviously. Seems like being your weapon is my main kick. Oh, boy. Let's get back to it, then. <laughs> Pepperoni pizza recipe. I feel like that's a gift for for Val. I feel like that's what she would want. Oh, that's not fair. You just dropped on my head, you asshole. <laughs> Another vault. This has money in it. Which I need. Opera tickets and stuff are fucking expensive. the entirety of the floor. Alright. Let's go. That is... Oh. That's already unlocked for me, so... to watch the waterfall memorize. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. <laughs> the sound of water is almost musical. Not very good for dancing though. More like Frank. You think you have you think they have a music you think they have a music store? I guess those really don't exist anymore. Hmm. But malls aren't popular anymore either. And here we are. So anything's possible. Oh well, let's keep going. Going that way, but I saw the stairs going up this way. But I'm in here for experience, so. And time spent with the level one, so. And material. <laughs> Vodka recipe. Baku would definitely be him. Ooh, this one's golden. Sleepy time zone. Alright, this is where the relaxed place was, so... Dead end. I, I guess that shows where it's a block? Okay. 
Okay, so it's time to go top guys. where I died before. More. There we go. Up here. Oh, I love pinball back in the day. Do they have a classic one? Ballyhoo? Hmm, doesn't look mm -hmm. like it. Everyone gets, but gets the best stuff. What do you want to play instead? Oh no, those are since still exist. I swear I destroyed all my <laughs> destroy the ball. <laughs> Just kidding. Go ahead and have fun. I'll save my mood for the real dance floor. You play for a while, eventually you run out of tokens. You feel an impulse to give a gift, but you don't have anything to give. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, so let's head down. Okay, we're down another floor. Oh, so close. All right, now max him out.
Dark Prince recipe. Nice. Well, I'm getting stuck in that corner was not good. That's a challenge room, I think. No, that's a that's a break room. Okay. Nah. Ooh, ice cream? Mmm. No thing. Can't have calories impacting my boyish physique after all. Oh no. You can't get down with ice cream thunder? Hmm. Why do people think why do you think people come to the mall anyway? It's so sterile. <laughs> you spend time together. That's a sweet thought. I know I wouldn't come here without you. After all. All the more reason to clean out these monsters. Let's get back to it. <sighs> Yeah, let's go this way. Oh, Mama. Kind of busy right now, Mama. <laughs> Don't worry, Mama, though. I got this. I got this, Mama. Anime t-shirt recipe. Nice. Alright, so now we are going south. Okay. 
we can move down to the next floor. Alright, let's change weapons. The drink is right there. Ooh. Holy crap. That was a lot of levels. Level 10. Going home in the body bag, but I'm going home. all these text messages come in because a lot of story just unlocked i think it is time for a commercial break on top of a regular break so give me a moment guys <laughs>
Okay. Sorry about that. We were supposed to be switching games, but apparently guys mistook when I said I was just taking a quick bathroom break and just shoveling a, a few bites of food in my mouth. They went ahead and started another game, and I was not waiting around another 15 minutes to get into an ARAM game, so they can go have fun. <laughs> I will go back to my romance. <laughs> so, and honestly, I'm going to actually adjust, as much as the music is good right now, actually no, I'm going to keep the music up. <laughs> so, let's go to our phone because we got a lot of messages that just came in. Almost got you another date, but I need some info. Be honest. <laughs> Be honest what? I mean, you didn't send me anything else. I had an idea. You like museums? <laughs> yeah. I do like museums. <laughs> also, hi, Young Street. Hi, Moogle. I don't know if you're still here or not. <laughs> Meet me at the museum. Wear something red. Sure. <laughs> Just kidding. Wear whatever you want. I mean, you asked me to wear something red, so I'm going to try to pull something red out for you. I don't want you to die. Not planning on it. Uh, yeah, so want to hang out? Summer night? Are the best. No death allowed. Okay. <laughs> Meet you at the beach at 9 p.m. Thunder's very protective of me suddenly. Be honest about what, dude? You didn't you didn't send me anything here for me to be honest about. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse said he's worried about you and one of your boyfriends. He wouldn't tell me why, though. Are you okay, sweetie? Uh, I need advice. What's wrong with the boyfriend, I mean? Ooh, I think he's lying to me. How do you know it's love? How do I choose who to love? Sounds like you're getting popular over there. I hope you can still come home in September. We haven't talked about it, but you're monogamous. Then. Oh, there's actually a choice. I think so. Yeah, not really. <laughs> then don't choose. Just check in with your partner. If you communicate, I'm sure it will be fine. As fine as anyone ever is, anyway. Good luck out there, sweetie. My mom is the most understanding mom ever. I love my mama. I love this mama anyway. Thanks, mama. It's a bit embarrassing, but the party is hosted by, uh, Okay, I instantly go into the investment party. Oh, oh, all right. Something sparkly, something serious, something comfortable. Nothing I own is good enough. You agonize over your closet, putting on random fancy clothes. Then you wonder, what if you're overdressed? What if you look ridiculous? You change your clothes a few times until it's too late. There's no time. Finally, you put on the first out your first outfit back on and run out the door. <laughs> the lobby looks packed with the unusual crowd of young software types. The entry is blocked. Private event tonight. Are you on the list? Well, hello. She's with Brooks Associates. Hi, Isaac. 
Epi knows everyone, huh? <laughs> Isaac kisses your cheek and leads you into the party. Oh my! <laughs> I love your jacket. I must get your tailor's number. Thanks for coming. Your support means so much to me. All of this is for you? Me and the other investors' employees. I hope my father makes it. I told him this gallon was for his favorite charity. Really? A familiar face approaches with a smirk. Hmm. I see Slicer invited two VIPs. Epi, is this weapon your date? Oh, I hate Eric. I hate you, Eric. He's more than just a weapon. Mm -hmm. He sure is. Deep pockets, too. And a fine catch of a sword. Mm -hmm. I'm standing right here. You sure are. Good job, you. Everyone loves a sharp-dressed man, hmm? Ah. Now, if you excuse me, I see a platter of shrimp puffs with my name on it. Please get the fuck out. How does that ass know you? He owns a weapon shop. Oh? So there's more to this story. Isaac. What is this hellscape? The whiskeys all have multi, multi, multi. Oh god. Good evening, father. Can we have a calm, sober conversation? <laughs> this is the most certainly not the foundation of dogs attending Harvard. You told me Dr. Muffin the third would be here. Well, uh, some of those people have dogs, I'm sure. These people dogs haven't even graduated high school. What if I'm seeing? Someone taps the microphone and the music is turned off. A slicer executive takes the stage and starts talking about the profit in sword smooching. What? Vincent marches out the door. The slicer executive starts listing all the hardships they overcame and thanking their investors. Eventually, she names Isaac and Brooks Associates by name and a special thank you for his generosity. You notice Isaac smiling to himself as the speech ends. <laughs> Someone turns the music back up and the dance floor starts to fill. Well, I don't think everything she said was true. My help wasn't necessary. If everyone were paid a living wage, we wouldn't need investors. Amen! Amen, Isaac! Amen! <laughs> Let me clap to that! We could also reduce inheritance, but where'd my father go? Don't worry huh. about it. If only it were that easy. I love to pick a dialogue option that says, I don't care what it is. <laughs> Let's get some fresh air. Isaac leaves you outside. Vincent and Isaac's assistant are talking. And that's when Isaac poops his pants in front of the whole family. Oh dear. Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> Father? <laughs> oh, hi Isaac. I'm gonna go. <laughs> ah, my worthless son. Are you done with your farce? <clears throat> I wanted to show you that my money helps people. Real people. Instead of obsessing over how much money others have, why not take care of yourself? You don't even have a partner unless... Don't tell me you're dating this disaster. Who are you calling a fucking disaster? <laughs> Leave Abby out of this. What matters to me is that I make a difference. <laughs> Funding these bores isn't making a difference. All you're making is a fool of yourself. <sighs> Isaac sighs, staring after him. Well, now I can enjoy the party without distraction, I guess. Are you okay? Wanna get out of here? I'll take your mind off of it. Yes. I'm alright. I knew this was likely going to happen. All I wanted is a good job, but nothing with him is ever simple. Come on, let's begin him. I'll introduce you to a few people. Your friendship is my most valuable investment yet. <laughs> he offers you his elbow with a small bow. <laughs> Hold any heavy attack to charge up into a more powerful attack. Nice. 
Triple threat, a small gift for the ladies. Ooh, a blue flower. Thank you, darling. I brought you that little thing. I don't know if it's a style, but I like you to have it. I love it. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, let's see what kind of music the DJ has started to play. Hmm? You rejoin the party and spend the rest of the evening together. Boy, things are heating up again. Let's do some crafting before I forget while Bell Tech Busters are coming in. Oh, I need cloth, which I think I know where to get cloth. I don't know where to get glue though. Oh yeah, I'm loving this. Okay. Stylish and profile. Alright. Let's go to the phone and check everything out. Would you rather get to know a guy who's buff or sweet? Sweet. <laughs> okay, well, it was a trick question because this dude is buff and sweet. His name is Jonah and he's the best. How do you know? <laughs> We used to date a while back, way before Samantha. He was really fun. He'd be a good friend, I think, no matter what happens. Will I meet Samantha? Of course. Talk to you soon. All right. I had a great time last night. Now I'm warmed up for facing your fears in the dungeon. I got you. I got you, blue things. Okay. Oh, shit. Um, let me go out first. Because I think I have, like, several dates now. Yeah. There's the museum. I need to find cloth. Cloth. Okay. So... Our fabric. Um... Oh, this is the one with the ballet stuff. Dark Essence is here. Okay, so. Here, here I am in my cute suit. But I need to go on the date with Val, so. Let's go in and change. She requested me to be in red. So, let's actually change into red. like I asked. I'm keeping my little flower in my hair. Let's go back out and let's go on our date. <laughs> then I think it will be time to do... Oh yeah, then we got the date out on the beach. So Let's go for our museum date first though. You find Val in the lobby and she leads you into the museum. Huh. In the first gallery, Val glares daggers at one of the sculptures. It's too perfect. Perfection is so boring, I don't trust it. You're saying I'm not perfect? Beauty is boring? I prefer painting. <laughs> huh? Shit, you've trapped me. <laughs> 
course, your perfection itself. <laughs> well, I'll have to revise all my opinions on the sub subject of perfection. I'll guide you to the museum without a map, according to her whim. Would you like to offer a gift? I think she would like the pizza. I think the pizza is for her. Talks about the art with intimate fondness, like they're sentient family members. Huh? Just wondering, if you could steal a painting from any museum, which would it be? That's a loaded question. I know. They're my favorite kind of question. You've never really thought about it before? I steal the Birth of Phoenix by Buguru. I can't pronounce that. <laughs> it's in the Musée d'Arre, ground floor near the stairs. Ugh. The real issue is the size. It's 3 by 2.8 meters. It would be a crime to roll it up. Huh? You thought this through. <laughs> well, it wouldn't do to get caught, would it? Probably not. I missed out on the chance to enjoy my painting if I was in prison. Now it's your turn. What would you liberate? A passionate and bold piece. Rather like you, I think. I hate museums as much as I love them. The idea of them, anyway. Art should be free, out in the world. Not getting away like this. Huh. But Verona Beach isn't so bad. The museum's free and open to the public. Have you heard about the new mural at the mall? Maybe we can go look at it together sometime. I'd love to know what you think. People are saying it's the Roses of Phoenix, you know? The anonymous graffiti artist? Maybe they thought Verona Beach needed a little more beauty and love. Hmm. Just as you're getting to know her better, Val Val's attention wanders. You look around to see what's distracted her and wait. It's the guy from the park. He's standing at the gallery entrance, glaring at you both. Um. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll take care of this. She grabs the guy by the shoulder and pulls him away. She whispers to him, they look intimate, like they've known each other forever. After a few moments, Val returns, looking flushed and angry. Ugh. Do you want to get out of here? What happened to romance? <laughs> oh, I can be plenty romantic. Why don't you take me home? Oh my. Enemies are confused longer? Roll father. Let's say, nah, I'm gonna say extra sneaky. What do you say? Wait, are she telling me to go, you know, home home? Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, okay. Probably for the best, right? Val accompanies you through the rest of the museum, but she seems preoccupied. <laughs> I'll call you. Eventually, you head home. <sighs> Let me grab some food. Um, I'm eating a Chipotle chicken bowl. I know I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Oh, it's tomorrow? Look 
like we're having the barbecue tomorrow. Thanks for making the museum more fun than I maybe made it awkward. I want to see you again, but I need to think. Let's just dunge for a while. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the beach. Okay. Left the other honey boo thing out on the beach. Let's change into this. Hey. We find Sunder and Mandy sitting on the dune. Sunder appears to be drinking. Woohoo! Are we celebrating? Uh huh. Yeah, being alive is the best, right? <clears throat> I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you know, most people are dead. Statistically, that's a lot of people. Really, a lot. <laughs> Sometimes I try to calculate the number of ghosts there should be. Hmm. Even if 1% of people had unfinished business, that'd be millions of ghosts. I think we might have squished out the name. All kinds of ghosts. Sultans, schoolgirls, fashion designers, farmers. Everyone. <sighs> Are you really trying to be more goth than me? <laughs> nah. No. I'm being really anti-goth right now, Mandy. Keep up. <laughs> I'm saying living is like the VIP section of the universe. <laughs> Why all this death stuff? Why not? It's all around us. That's what being alive means, right? Dying? What about books and mountains? They're not alive, but they're, they're way better than people. <laughs> what about you, Ebony? Do you think about death often? We spend time chatting, looking over, looking out over the moonlit ocean. Eventually there's a silence and Mandy clears her voice, her throat. I'm getting hungry. You must be too thunder. How about a snack? Mandy looks at you curiously. Sure, a snack sounds good. I get the feeling I'm on the menu. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that lover boy? She's up for it. Hey! Put it out, Mandy. What? You haven't told poor Ebby about our little hobby? Say nothing. What hobby? Ugh. Uh, Mandy, just go home if you're feeling it. Beat yourself. Just don't stay out too late. The sun comes up fast this summer. Mandy sits away for the evening. Thunder glares at her. Mm. Thunder sighs, apparently at a loss for words. What was that about? What hobby? Nah. I don't want to talk about it. Not right now. A cold breeze comes in from the ocean, chilly against your skin. Please tell me. Importantly ignores what you said and instead rubs your arms gently. Thunder's hands aren't any warmer, but the friction helps relax you a little. He takes off his jacket and it settles around your shoulders. Aww! Cool shapes. <laughs> Here, I also got you a little gift. I always wake up too late to use them. Thanks. And I know you said you want the truth. Uh, I've been thinking about that. Hmm. I guess I still have some things I'm not ready to talk about. It looks like he's started to shiver. Let's just forget about this, and I'll walk you home where it's warm. 
You walk together through Verona Beach until you arrive at your building. You give him his jacket back, he puts it on gratefully. I know you're probably furious with me right now, but just listen for a second, okay? <laughs> Before Mandy ran her mouth, I had so much fun with you today. Usually around now, I get the summertime blues, but with you, I feel so alive. Believing does more damage. Like, all my dark thoughts don't weigh me down. And honestly, I don't want to go back to my lonely apartment. It's like a crypt. <laughs> I kicked myself later if I didn't ask, can I come up? <clears throat> Please do, and do what? I don't feel that way about you. That's a lie. That last one is a lie. I totally feel that way about you. Can I get in a few kisses here? You linger on the street corner before leading him upstairs. He waits outside the apartment politely until you invite him in. He's so a vampire. I'm calling it right now. This mofo is a vampire. <laughs> wow, I like your place. You have good taste. I'm a little nervous, but I just want to treat you right. Oh boy! You spend the evening together. He's athletic and attentive. I'm really focused on making you feel good. You notice his skin and blade remain strangely cold to the touch, no matter how long you cuddle. Want another blanket? Kiss more. So, what was that happy? I am not about to, I am not about to ruin the afterglow right now. The afterglow is not being ruined. <laughs> uh-huh. Sure, why not? No harm being extra cozy. You snuggle up and kiss a few extra dozen times before he staggers to his feet, pulling his clothes back on. Can't wait till next time, but got some things to do tonight. Later, hotness. <laughs> he lets himself out, and you soon fall asleep. Shit! Um... You know what? Isaac's been so sweet. Let's invite Isaac. Isaac's coming. Cake! Oh, you worry it's not good enough. Will Jesse laugh at you? You buy it anyway. Cake seems like a safe bet. Everyone likes cake. <laughs> you find Isaac waiting outside Jesse's house. <laughs> I couldn't find anything red or white or blue to wear. Sorry. <laughs> you look great. You ring Jesse's doorbell, but no one answers. You hear the sound of talking and music from the backyard. You go around back to investigate. Hey, it's my coolest cousin. Hey, Jesse. Everyone be friendly, okay? A few strangers look at you curiously and raise a glass. Your cheeks feel warm. <laughs> oh, you brought cake! Perfect! We needed something sweet. Nice. Cake. Cake is always the answer, guys. And who's this with you? <laughs> oh, my. Good to see you again, Jesse. Thank you for introducing me to my favorite student. <laughs> You're very welcome. I love seeing a good blade find a good wielder. Abby tells me you've been very kind. Excellent. In any event, I brought a bottle of Bordeaux. May I help you with anything? Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Let's go prep the burgers and shrooms. Mm. In the meantime, Abby, meet Jonah. Here, go. Talk. Oh, he's a Viking. And he's big and burly. Oh. Oh. Hi. Hi, hi Jonah. How you doing? Jesse got good taste. He's got damn good taste. I'm just saying. <laughs> Jesse pushes a stranger towards you and with a wink and walks away. Um, hi, uh -huh. I'm Jonah. Shoot, you knew that already. <laughs> I 
and do a lot of surfing and hanging out mostly some reading too oh he's a surfer type oh wait do you mean for work i don't really have a job right now oh same jesse same hmm Is it? Maybe I shouldn't try it then. Surfing is bad enough with sharks around. I've been thinking about trying the dungeon out myself sometime. Maybe. Jesse said you wield, um, weapons down there? I can sometimes be an axe. I don't often do it though. That's amazing! <laughs> Thanks, it doesn't take much effort though. I just decide to change shape. Like clenching a fist. Maybe I'll show you sometime. Anyway, I can definitely use the money from a gig, but... Uh... You promise we won't hurt anyone? Like, not even animals? Only monsters. <laughs> but I really don't have a choice. I wish I wasn't hurting so bad for money. Oh, here's my number. Maybe we can go together sometime. He's a big cuddle bug! Or if you want to hang out, like, as humans, I'm usually at the beach. Isaac politely rejoins you with Jonah, sparing burgers. That cousin of yours is an excellent show, Abby. Mr. Brooks, wow, Verona Big Beach is such a small town. Eric abruptly elbows his way into the conversation. Fuck you, Eric! Why did Jesse invite you? Cousin! I need you to throw someone out at the barbecue! Cousin! <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, Abby, hello. May, May I, I kiss, kiss your hand? hand? No thanks. <laughs> Eric gives a deep formal bow. Jonah glances between you and Eric. Hey, Eric. I didn't know you'd be here. You don't seem the patriotic type. <laughs> well, I heard that Elisa Eppy would be here, so I had to make an appearance. Uh, stalking is not kosher. <laughs> With the romance of barbecue and fireworks, I thought this might be my chance. No, you have no chance. You fucked up by making fun of my cousin. You're never getting between these legs. Ever. <laughs> Real subtle, bro. <laughs> ha, subtlety is for combat and business. Love is an entirely different battlefield. Okay, Eric's not wrong in that sense. Hmm. And I intend to bring all my cannons to bear on my target. Your metaphor is terrible. <laughs> Perhaps you can help me craft a better turn of phrase to capture your beauty. Oh, you just quit. Party music plays from the speakers inside the house. Everyone starts talking louder. Ugh. Eric shudders as if in deep pain. Ear poison, I cannot stand modern music. It robs the moment of any elegance. Give my regards to Jesse and Samantha. I must flee. Eric hurries away, hands over his ears. Oh, thank lord. Uh, are, are you okay, Abby? Eric really gets to you, huh? I hate him. <laughs> you realize your lightly troubling with suppressed feelings. Where did your confidence go? Isaac gently touches your arm as if to give you strength. Good riddance to bad weather. Eric and Jesse and I went to school together. He doesn't have a bad heart. I think it's just lonely. That doesn't give him the right to be a jerk, but I wish he would grow up. I have enough problems. It's a nice thought. He'll never understand. Uh... Maybe not. I have to hope so, though. The even goes by surprisingly quick with lively conversation. You eat burgers and grilled partabellos steadily, walking the line between satisfaction and gluttony. <laughs> At one point, the music is turned down and everyone in quiet, watching the fireworks. As the sky explodes, you feel wild romantic energy surge through you. 
you have to, uh, oh, ooh, I feel like kissing them would be bad form right now. I have to resist. You take a deep breath, then another. The impulse passes and the fireworks end. Someone turns the music back on. Uh. Those were some explosions, all right. Now, back to partying. Yeah, Jesse. Mm -hmm. That's my key to bit of you. I have a personal lesson early in the morning. Thanks for the invite, Evan. Bye. Jonah, see ya! Left to fend for yourself. A deep current is soon overtakes you. You say goodnight to Jesse and Jonah and shuffle home. <laughs> Love you too, Jesse. I just want to say you're cooler the more I get to know you. So, thanks. Less dungeon. Fine, fine, fine. Nice meeting you at the barbecue. It'd be fun to talk some more, but I just remembered I'm out of town for the rest of the summer. What? Yeah, sorry. Maybe we can connect again somehow, someday. If you ever come back to the town in the fall, maybe I can show you some surfing spots on the island. What island? Verona Island. The ferry is under repairs right now, though. Oh well. I hope your summer in GB is the best. Thanks. I think we'll meet again sooner. So yeah. Somehow. Sooner than we think. <laughs> This is close for me. I'm guessing the bracelets were supposed to go to. <sighs> Shit. I don't know. Okay. Beverage heals more, but I get to carry. I carry more beverages with fewer signs. Enemies bleed when they damage you. Oh, we gotta wear these. Doing more damage might be the best way to go. 
Yeah, I think I've broken things because it's been saying all the saving this entire time, so. Let's quit out to stop that from the bottom. Then go back into continue and hopefully. There we go. So I do believe we can just go out. You know what? I just realized what time it is. I actually need to stop the screen here. So thank you to everyone who stopped in. It's been really great. I've had a lot of fun and this story is just too awesome and I'm definitely gonna play more of it. More, more, I tell you. Um. I'm trying to think. Let's let's go see. Let's go see who's on right now. I do believe Dr. Perry is on. Mecca might be on as well. Nope, it looks like we are going to raid out to Dr. Perry. I love the music in this game. It's really awesome. Alright, we are raiding out to Dr. Perry, so thank you so much to everyone who stopped in, Young Street, Moogle, love you love, and I will see you guys all on Wednesday, unless I decide to do a bonus stream, who knows. Anywho, see you around. <laughs>